Hey everybody, it's Doug with Artfully Rogue. And in this video, I have such a cool project. I'm gonna be making a fire poofer or fire cannon. I suppose it depends on what you call it, where you live. But keep in mind, I'm gonna be working with propane. It's gonna be an open flame and it can get dangerous. So take all precautions necessary. The solenoid that you use is either going to be electric or it's going to be 12 volt. Be careful, electricity or any type of current around gas is also extremely dangerous. So you're gonna need a tank. This is a Freon tank. And whatever tank you decide to use, you're gonna to have to find the attachment that will take it from here to say a 3 8 pipe thread. This is a flare fitting. And I'll include the link to all the fittings that I use in this particular project. But you may have to make some few changes for yours. This is nice because it has a valve that will allow you to close off. Okay, so let me run you through the entire setup uh, and pardon the shakiness of this. So out of my particular tank, I went from a quarter inch flare to a quarter inch pipe thread with this particular fitting. Then I went to a quarter inch NPT thread, that's a pipe thread, and if you follow here, I went to a quarter inch nipple. Now that size doesn't necessarily matter, but as long as it's quarter inch nipple. And then I went to a quarter inch ball valve, but then I needed an adapter that went quarter inch ball, I'm sorry, quarter inch NPT to 3 8 flare. And then this is the propane hose that has its own regulator. All right, so then if we go back up to the T and where it comes up, you have another quarter inch NPT nipple. Then you're going to a quarter inch T. Coming off the side of that, you have an adapter going from, let me straighten that out for you. Coming off the side of that, you actually have a quarter inch pipe thread going to a quarter inch compression fitting that goes to a small valve. This compression fitting here goes up to quarter inch flexible copper. Now if we go back to this T again, coming out of the T, I'm actually going quarter inch male to quarter inch female. That's just kind of what this valve had. Then I have a small, let me see if I can find it there, there we go. I have a small quarter inch nipple coming out of the valve into a quarter inch by half adapter. And then from the quarter to half, I'm going half to three quarters. And then I'm coming into a three quarter inch pipe nipple. Now I'm going into a three quarter inch brass valve. And then the three quarter inch pipe that takes me all the way up along with the copper to the very top. So that's the setup. Now parts of this will vary based on the type of tank that you're using and you may be able to simplify some of this but as I was creating I was just adding on to some of the parts and pieces that I had. So you may be able to go straight from a quarter inch, or maybe let's say you can go straight from a three quarter inch regulator and cut out some of this if you wanted to. But this is the basic setup. Having a valve to shut your tank off, having a valve to shut your propane off, having a valve to turn on your pilot light, and then having a solenoid so that you can get the burst. Now, this particular solenoid is a 110 solenoid. You can get 12 volt, but this is what I found and this is what I used. Okay, and so we just used a momentary switch 
So you have a line going in, you have a line going out, and as long as you push this down, power is on. When you left it off, power is off. Uh, it goes inside a small little box that uh, we had laying around. There used to be an old switch in this, but yeah, you can find yourself some kind of little container, apartment, or box that you can put your switch in. But that's what we used for the switch. All right, ready? Just a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> put it out. Okay, so you you. So that might be one of us. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Working, man. <laughs> 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 cool. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> it worked. I'm going to see if I can run it out. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, then please do so now. If you have any comments, then leave those down below. And a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, Judy Clothier, Barry and Marlene Rush, Fun Kiss Artistic Creations. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Hulk smash make damage. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Ro.